Tonight I'm going to talk to y'all about Gibbles. Gibbles potato chips. One of the best potato chips you probably will ever have in the nation. Of course, this story starts off in Park Ritchie apartment 505. My oldest brother, Lopez Jr. He would get these chips right here when I was a kid. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they had these red hot chips. It was called Gibbles Red Hot. And remember I told you that story when me and my sister Cookie would eat in the closet? That was also my brother's stash pot. So my brother had like this little, it looked like a little lunch box. And he would have these chips in there. It was the red hot, but he would hide them from me. But I would find them and take like, like a handful of them out of there. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with, it's a place called Flintstone. Maryland as I got older I was with little bro and uh, his folks got a a, a a log like a cabin like a house out there with like a house pool we would all just go out there in the summertime with a couple of people and stay out there for like four days and one day we stopped at the gas one time we stopped at the gas station and as we stopped at the gas station, I love chips, bottom line. I, I, when it comes to chips, I'm in love with potato chips. So the first thing I would do still to this day, the first thing I do when I go out of town, I go in the grocery store, but I cut back a lot on eating potato chips because of the salt. But I would just go and see what kind of chips they carry, which brand they carry. So we stopped at the gas station and they had gibbles. And at this location, they had different kind of gibbles. They had the, they had the plain gibbles. They had like salt and vinegar. They had barbecue, and they had the red hot gibbles. So little bro, see me, I get so excited. He like, what you excited for? I said, bro, these is gibbles. My brother used to eat these when I was a kid. Once again, you gonna ask, bro? I cleared the whole shelf. I took all the gibbles, all the gibble chips on the way to the country house. The guy looking like, you buying all these chips? I said, I'm taking all of them. Man, no lie, bro ate them chips. Every time he went up there, he'd be like, he would, he would, every time the order came in, he would buy the whole rack and just bring them back, give me like half of them. Or when he came back, Nine times out of 10, when he was going to uh, Flintstone, I was staying in the house at Tacoma Park. So I had a house to myself. They'd be all Flintstone. So when he came back to Tacoma Park to the house, so it was like the party would just keep jumping. One week is in Flintstone, one week is in Tacoma Park. So when he would come back, he would bring the whole box. And I'm telling y'all, we would go through these chips, these rare hot chips, like it ain't nothing. So after a while, the gas station stopped uh, Stop, they, they didn't have them. So I guess these chips is made in Pennsylvania, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, told y'all, yep. Yeah, see, it's made in Pennsylvania. They made it, it's made in Pennsylvania, so it's close out that way. But you don't see them no more in Pennsylvania, so. What I would have to do was with these chips, I would go to their website and I would order the chips straight offline and I would just get the box. And well, me and bro was going half on them because we couldn't find them no more. We would go half on a whole box of uh, red hot potato chips. But you don't see them in your stores. Like they stopped, they banned them. Like they. They ban these chips because these chips, if I'm not mistaken, they made out of some kind of lard, grease, that's not healthy for you. 
And I see why they banned it. You eat these, you eat them red hot chips, man, you better don't leave the house. If you want to clean your system out, get a bag of them red hot chips. And they ain't like the, they ain't like the red hot chips you get from like the ones they sell now. Cause I don't even like these the red the red hot chips that they sell in the grocery stores. It's just the grease. It's the grease that they cook these chips in that made them so unique and so different. So you know like the kettle, y'all know like them kettle chips? How I got that different taste to it? It's something like that, but it's, I think it's lard that is cooked in. And they banned it and you can't find them anywhere. So by my house, I went in there on, um, I went in there the other day, they had the, the Slurpees for a dollar. And I haven't had a Slurpee in a long time. I was like, man, let me go get me a Slurpee. And 7-Eleven, I don't even look in the chip out because I know it's the same thing. It looked like pork grinds and took over. But as I hit the back aisle, I see some little bags. I look down and it's, and what do I see? I see Gibbles sitting right there in front of me. I'm like, hold on. So the, as y'all see, I ain't buy the whole rack this time because I'm more of the red. If they had the red hot bag, that whole, the plane is okay. The plane is not that bad. But if it was the red hot, I would have cleaned, I would have cleaned out that. But I'm just, I'm just shocked to even see it out here. Like selling back in the, this little bag is $1.49. Like, I'm shocked to even see them even selling gibbles back in the stores. So that means there is a chance that they're trying to get their way back into these stores. So if I, if yes, yeah, so listen to me, y'all. If any of y'all see gibbles red hot potato chips, it's a bag. I'm going to find it on the web and post it. It's a bag with, like, flames on it, like fire flames. If you see that, you call me. You tell me where you see it at, and I will be there to get it. Make sure you get a bag, and make sure you try it as well. This is my Gibble story. Go.